This is the CAST command. CAST stands for Convert and Store. But it's a little bit of a meaning that's kind of hard to grasp sometimes. And I'll tell you where I think it came about. People would take data from one system and when they loaded it to another system, they'd say, I want to change the data type. So I will cast it, convert the data type, cast, convert, and store it on the new system. But you don't have to just change the data type and store. In many cases, you're just going to want to cast something to a new data type. Maybe you want to make sure you're not comparing apples to oranges in data types so you can always cast any columns data type. And we're going to see that in action right now. Here's what we're going to show you. A few examples of what we might want to cast to something else. For example, I might want to cast a small integer of two bytes to character five. I could cast a decimal data as an integer. I would cast byte data as a small integer. I'm going to cast character data as a byte 128. I'm going to cast some byte integer data as a bar car 5, or I might cast some integer data as a float. The bottom line here, my friends, is I want you to see that the cast command allows you to temporarily convert data to an entirely new data type. This might really come in handy. So I want you to see what happens to data when I cast it to a new data type. I've given you some nice examples here. First of all, we're going to cast A, B, C, D, E as a character 1. It's going to take those five characters, A, B, C, D, E, and say, well, OK, it's now just showing you the A because I've changed this to character 1. Secondly, I say I want to cast 128 as character 3. And you see 128, but notice it's lined up on the left side. It's no longer a number. It's character data, like your name. Now, casting 127 as an integer, we're going to call it an alias as bigger, because notice how far to the right side 127 is. You see, normally, 127 could be represented with just one byte. But since we've converted that to an integer, it's got the potential to be up to close to 2 billion. And that's why it's so much bigger. Most things are going to make a lot of sense to you when you cast them. But there's a few things that I want to show you that could throw you off your game just a little bit here. Take a look at this. We're going to cast the number 121.53 as a small integer. And that's going to take it and literally just chop the decimals off the end of it because we don't have any decimal points here. Secondly, and this is the one you've got to be careful of, I'm going to take that same number, 121.53, and I'm going to cast that as a decimal 3 comma 0. When the system sees this, it says it's three digits in length, but I'm going to have zero decimal points, and it's either going to round it up, which it has, or round it down based on if it's greater than 50 or lower than 50 in that decimal. Now we're going to see the cast command in action, like you might in a real SQL statement. We're going to select the order number, the customer number. We're going to select the order date and the order total. Then we're going to cast that order total as an integer first, and then we'll cast it as a decimal 5 comma 0 secondly. Now take a look at the results here. You can see the order total in blue. And then next to that is the chopped column. And here we have cast the order total as an integer. It just merely chops the decimal places off. But let's take a look now at the rounded. Because in the rounded, we cast that order total as a decimal 5 comma 0. So it is either going to round up or round down based on the decimal positions. And if that value is greater than 50 or lower than 50. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information. 
Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.